Now we're ready to um, select a piece of material and look at this piece. Yep, that is the horrible bit of thick C channel that's going to form the backbone of our power hammer. But we've got to get and grind off whatever was on there before, before I can even start. Hmm, okay, let's make it nice and clean. Now, I've ground as much as I can off that piece of metal there, and I can't get onto the other side to grind it. So I'm gonna have to smash the welds. So in order to smash the welds, we need a hammer. And, I happen to have one. So I'm gonna give it a really big hit, and let's see if I can crack the weld in half, eh? Move this trolley. One, two, three! <laughs> Yay! Done it! Woo! Now, we're going to have to make our um, main back subframe structure that's going to support the whole lot. So it's going to need to be pretty strong. So we have this piece here, from the tip, and that one and that one. So what I'm actually going to do is get this and weld it that way onto there like that. Oh, big square I-beam bar and then this one as well like that. Oops, lazy. And then we can see, I don't know if you can see, that's pretty neat. That's going to look like a nice big solid chunk of steel. And if nothing else, it's going to make me pretty fit in the end, moving this shit, even bicep curl with that, I reckon. Whew. Who needs weights when you're doing this? Well, I've just finished welding this beam together. So it's now one big solid square thick box that's probably 10 millimeters thick all the way around. Now's a moment of truth. <laughs> Can I move it? Well, let's put on our best oomphs and see if we can do it. All right. Back straight. Ah! Ta -da! I did it! Now I'm scared to let it go because if it falls, it's probably going to smash the floor to pieces. Hang on, let me, let me just see. No, it's staying there, a bit of an angle. That's wobbling the floor just to see if it, a little wobble as I walk off will make it go. It does wobble, but it's staying and I feel safe enough to walk over there. Well, what are we gonna do today? Well, this is the framework of the hammer. So all those other bits we've been working on, we can start get it on to here. So we've got this piece of railway line there, and we've got another piece of railway line just here. And this is gonna weld to that. And this is going to be... Like that. With that on there. And then this, which is the same as we've made the hammer from, this thick 100 square galvanised steel tubing, thick walled, it's going to be cut and we're going to go there. And we're going to go there. Then we will have our basic framework done so then we can sort of work out where the hammer's going to go. So hopefully it all comes together okay. Hello, mind if I'm doing this on the floor? I ain't going to pick this up and put it on the bench. Got the 
pasta, I reckon. <laughs> Actually, well done, all right. I'll turn it over now to make it easier, but I just had to stand it up because this is small, it was hard to get it level. Whereas now I've tacked it both ends, I can um, turn it over and now I can get some good um, weld pulls straight in there that should make it heavy again. <laughs> Another heavy thing. Oh gee, when this and that are together, yeah. Well, if I can lift it off the ground, then it's just a matter of getting it to your hips, isn't it? Then you can sort of get your whole body behind it. Maybe that's a test, though. See if we can do it later. Now, despite it being rusty and the uh, big gaps in between, it's actually welding together pretty good it really just fills in but there's just a little bit of rust and rubbish to really make them not really nice welds but I'm quite confident they're um, sticky and um, more than good enough to hold it together well I can't weld it any harder because um, my welder is up full tilt that's it and I can't do longer welds than about what you see there because any more than that and bang I tripped a circuit breaker and it's about a 50 meter walk to it so as I'm getting to the end I'm sort of thinking oh stop just about now most times I get it but sometimes nah click go and walk to the meter box Ugh. right here comes the moment of truth I've just added six feet or two meters of railway line now those of you that have got a railway line anvil will know how much that weighs and just one of these is pretty heavy now we're going to see if i can lift this up i've only tack welded it so if it's too hard i'll have to think of a another reason like a block and tackle or a winch or something like that but before i get carried away it's the end of the day I've got one oomph, I reckon, one oomph's worth. And if that oomph oomphs out, then I'm gonna put it down. But let's see, the test has come. Oh shit, that's not much room. Oh. Trying to keep the back strikes even hard, but I will. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, look at that! Ta da I did it! Woo! That's great! That's bloody heavy! If I was working with weights, I wouldn't have to do anything for a week. That one lift has done the whole lot. And it will stay there, even though it's got no balancing bits. Probably bending the floor, but. Anyway, I'm really pleased that I got that and that the frame is coming together. All we've got to do now is get this plate and that's going to be welded on there like that where our dies are going to go. It's starting to look like a machine, isn't it? Yeah, it's looking really good. Those welds, they're good. Um, probably tomorrow. I'll probably do a little bit more, but I don't think it needs it. But you know what it's like. When you've started doing a bit of weld, it's not too bad. You sort of walk around looking for something to weld. Maybe that might happen tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> 